Hello and welcome to Arab Business. Fresh data show that Iran's foreign trade volume reached around $21.21 billion in the first quarter of the current Persian calendar year, which started on March 21st. According to the latest report issued by the Iran Customs Administration, over $10.86 billion out of the total amount has been set for exports of goods, while some $10.34 billion was resulted from imports of commodities. Iran's exports amounted to 25.61 million tons, meanwhile imports totaled 8.84 million tons in the said period. Saudi non-oil exports dropped by 14.5% to 47 billion Saudi rials in the first quarter of the current year, compared to the figures of the same period last year, according to a report released by the Central Department of Statistics and Information. On the other hand, Saudi imports grew by 6.88% to 162.5 billion Saudi rials, compared to the figures of the same period last year. Plastic and rubber products topped the kingdom's list of exports in the first quarter and registered 31.6% of non-oil exports valued at 15 billion Saudi rials. The owner of the Miami Dolphins football team, Stephen Ross, is joining forces with Qatar to buy a controlling stake in Formula One in a deal that could be worth up to $8 billion and inject new leadership into a sport facing falling TV audiences and ticket sales. Ross is looking to acquire a 35.5 percentage stake from private equity fund CVC Capital Partners Limited through his investment vehicle RSE. A source familiar with the matter told the reporters, adding that a deal could be done within six weeks. Ross has the backing of Qatar, which has been actively investing its wealth abroad, meaning that financing is unlikely to be a problem. And Gulf stock markets moved little in quiet early trade as the UAE's Etisalat and Armanat, which have galvanized UAE bourses in recent days, lost steam. Abu Dhabi tumbled 1.2%, Egypt edged down 0.7%, Dubai slipped 0.4%, Kuwait and Qatar fell back 0.3% and 0.2% respectively, while Saudi's main index inched up 0.2% and Oman was almost flat. That's all for now. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. We will be back tomorrow with some more from the business world in the Middle East. Goodbye.